Thank you, Chip. I just want to know that. You can do it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Well, I got you here. I'd also like to talk about the channel for a minute. Uh, first and foremost, uh, something that I'm thankful for. Uh, I've been posting on YouTube for almost a year. Next week, I'm like a year. And I would like to say that I am very grateful for each and every subscriber, each and every person who comments, uh, shares, leaves a like. You are greatly appreciated. You know, I started doing this just because I like to watch moto vlogs, and I thought, well, you know, it might be fun to do them uh, myself because I enjoyed watching them. I might enjoy making them. Uh, I'm trying to find out how to do. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I thought uh, it's also a good way to keep up with family and friends that are abroad. Uh, and, you know, that's worked really well for that. That's that's the primary reason for this channel. Uh, it's obviously a motor vlog channel primarily. As, uh, you know, I've, I've loved riding motorcycles since I was four years old. Forty-five years old now. I don't think that's going to change anytime soon. You know, it's just part of who I am. Uh, Sometime in the future, I might start adding a few other things to the channel, though. You know, I don't want to pigeonhole it as a motovlog-only channel. Uh, you know, small adventures can be made from everyday things. Uh, you know, and one of the, my favorite things to do in the world is to go moto camping. Uh, you know, load a bike down, go for a day or 10 or 20, and uh, camp out somewhere in the woods on a bike. I might start, to, you know, I might start doing some review of the gear I use and show you what I pack. Uh, I do particularly uh, enjoy inexpensive things that work well. So, uh, you know, anything I review is most likely going to be budget friendly. Uh, you know, just everyday things that you can pick up uh, on the cheap that will serve you well. Um, I will have some reviews coming up in, soon. Uh, you know, I, I'll be the first to admit I've been being a little lazy. You know, I've been posting up this uh, no small adventure bike trip, this, this trip I went out to see my uh, daughter. And uh, kind of let that just put me in a groove of being lazy with it. And, you know, of course, we've had a lot of things going on, too. Uh, you know, had a lot of uh, life issues. Uh, first and foremost, that uh, the job offer that was made to me, uh, they've been jerking me around for how many weeks now? And I'm still not back to work. So, uh, you know, so we've had a lot going on. I've been doing uh, other things, make a little money here on the side and everything, waiting on that. But... Uh, in the future, in the next year, I'm going to try to make some better quality videos. Uh, I might, uh, once I get back to work, invest in some, uh, maybe some more cameras, uh, more equipment, you know, and put everything into the channel, you know, uh, try to make it work a little better. Obviously, if you can't tell, I'm nervous talking on this. I don't know why, you know. <laughs> uh, right around and I talk to myself. On the bike when I've got the camera going, it doesn't bother me a bit, but standing here in front of the camera, I guess I'm a little nervous. But, uh, anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and shut this off for a minute and give you an example. Three hours later. Yeah, for example, uh, some things I might do some reviews on, for example. So, you know, like I said, I like to go moto camping. I like to go camping. It doesn't matter if it's FJ camping, moto camping, walking and camping. I just like to camp. Um, one of the things I feel like you need when you go camping is a decent knife, you know. It doesn't have to be a big bush knife. It doesn't have to be a little uh, camp uh, <laughs> kitchen knife type, you know, cooking knife. Um, before I had actually uh, got in between the job situation and you know, all that going on, I had actually ordered a couple of inexpensive knives. You know, I, I dig inexpensive things at work, as I've said. So I haven't actually opened it there sitting here as the new season's coming up I may go ahead and look into doing a review on these you know what I'm gonna go ahead and open them right now I might do a comparison of these I'm not like uh, any knife expert by any means any stretch of the words or anything like that and that tape's thick this one so I've had really good luck with Schrade in the past I like their products they're inexpensive they're usually tough as nails 
Actually, you know what? I'm not even sure why I haven't opened these yet. I have this ancient, ancient Eastern condition. It's called Dragon Tail. And a friend of mine wanted to see what this knife would do because it was inexpensive. I can't even remember what it was actually. I remember it's like under 20 bucks. And you gotta love the way they pack things. for years. This is a Shred FCA, excuse me, SH, you know I can't even talk now. This is a Shred SCHF 36. And I've got some tape on it. <laughs> you see I'm not a professional reviewer. Yeah, I do have the Altiv Altoids can. Had good luck with Shred in the past. I like their knives, they're usually pretty tough. And they're always reasonably priced. And I felt like this would probably make a replacement that I could afford at the time for my Becker BK2. You know, I might actually take this out in the woods and do a makeshift review on the knife and the sheath. But uh, a friend of mine was looking for nothing. This was only like 28 bucks on Amazon. I think I actually, actually had a coupon code where it was uh, less than that. It seemed like I paid like 18 19 Well, no, excuse me, I'm thinking about this one. It seemed like I paid like $22, $24 for this. Tape. You know, I can't even remember much about this one when I ordered it. But I hadn't done an unboxing video. <laughs> oh, these tapes. Now you can tell I'm a professional reviewer, right? I have to go back onto my order, actually, and uh, get the information off of this knife. I'm not 100% sure what model it is. But uh, for under 20 bucks, it got really good reviews. About the same size, you know, same, same design. Very <coughs> nice, my car. It is the Elk Rivers ER555. So, might take these out in the woods and give them a go through and see how they go. That was pretty sharp. Can't remember what kind of stainless steel this had in it, but it was stainless steel. But, uh, bought both of these on Amazon. You know, and both of them combined were was under 50 bucks, so. Uh, I dig inexpensive things at work. These are inexpensive. I guess uh, since I'm going to come in the weeks, we'll take them out of the woods and see how they work. It's always fun when it gives you a hassle to put the bag out. You should see me try to put my sleeping bag back in the little bag. <laughs> you know, just simple things like that. Uh, 
I mean, I'm not a, a professional knife guy, not an expert by any stretch of the words. You know, uh, I know what I like and I know what I, how I use them. Uh, you know what works for me and what doesn't. Uh, yeah, I enjoy watching the videos where people go out and they, and they uh, uh, use their knives out in the field and, and start a fire and things like that. You know, I enjoy doing it too. I mean, I enjoy doing it off camera, but it might be fun doing it on camera too. Uh, <laughs> I feel kind of silly sitting here talking to myself. I don't know, it's different from riding around talking to myself. Nobody can see my mouth moving, you know, because the camera's in front of my face. Uh, anyway, I do want to take a minute and uh, wish everybody a really great Thanksgiving holiday. Uh, uh, you know, it's uh, Black Friday's coming up. Be safe out there. People are crazy. You know, it, it always amuses me. Black Friday is the day that people will trample somebody for a, something that they want or something that they need exactly one day after being thankful for what they already have. I don't know. People's crazy, man. Anyway, I wish everybody a great Thanksgiving, a great week, and a great weekend when it gets here. Thank you for putting up with this video for this long. I know this has been a horrible video. <laughs> I, I'm probably not even going to watch this one myself. I may not even post it because I just feel silly. But, thank you. I appreciate you. And I hope you have a wonderful weekend. Peace. Need to have some bloopers. Hey YouTube, I'm standing in my junk room. Extraordinary. I am shocked and appalled.